I'm Peter DeBarber with Horiba Instruments. I'm a co-segment leader in the Process and Environment Division, and I'm here to discuss uh, our uh, application with a handheld radiation monitor. Years ago, we were approached by the Japanese government to develop a very simple radiation device for school children as a, as a tool for education. Uh, we did that, however, we also learned that we weren't selling too many of these. We were perhaps selling a couple hundred a year, which really wasn't enough to sustain this device's uh, life. Uh, however, then the Fukushima disaster happened, and overnight demand just skyrocketed. Uh, so in the next several months following Fukushima, we were selling thousands of these a month. Interesting to us, though, was that not only were we selling to first responders and government agencies, uh, trading companies, you know, professional people, but also 10% of those inquiries were coming from ordinary citizens who had some concerns about their environment and they just didn't trust the, the data that was coming in from their local agencies. So we donated 125 instruments to local schools and local governments to pass out to their citizens to give them some sense of peace of mind. And then in the meantime, we also got some feedback that we should make this instrument a little more user-friendly. So the second generation of it, uh, this device here, we added Bluetooth capability so we can communicate with a smartphone. So now the device has the capability to connect to the smartphone and use the, the GPS location capabilities of a smartphone, as well as uh, you know, the timestamp. And so we can do some data logging, giving precise location and time. Uh, and then with an application that we've now developed, uh, downloadable from our website for free, uh, we can now do real-time mapping. And I, I show one of those here on the, on the poster. Now where this is headed, uh, you know, we're looking at such a business model now for uh, some of our other sensing and detection strategies for gas molecules like NOx and ozone and particulate uh, mon monitor PM2.5. Uh, so we're working uh, to, to move our technology in that direction. That's what really brought me to this uh, workshop.